Hello. I'm coming at you today with the living room review because uh, the house is empty in the daytimes now. We got some Lemmy Lemon Vuitton number 36. Now we've done Lemon Vuitton on this channel before, but unfortunately when I watched the review again, it was a very short review. The kids killed my battery playing Roblox, so I had to like hurry through it. What I remember about that one is it was very citrusy and it was very sticky and it was covered in trichomes. That's about really all I can remember. I remember I liked it, but that was Louis Vuitton regular, Lemon Vuitton regular. This is Lemon Vuitton number 36. Obviously I can't find anything out about this online. When I type it into Google, it just shows me who's selling it near me. It doesn't tell me anything about the strain lineage, which means it must be pretty new. If Leafly hasn't got a hold of it yet. This stuff is very, very, very white. It is like, I don't know if the, it's purple under there, but the outside of it is like extremely white, frosty. There ain't an inch that isn't covered in some kind of sticky hair or trichome. It's a little purple under under all that, but... Let's see here. Sorry for my face. This is my morning look. I know I say lemon lime a lot on here. That really does taste like a margarita. That tastes like margarita and candy together. Like margarita flavored candy. That's what it tastes like. It tastes a lot like candy and a lot like lemon lime salt. That's one of the better tasting baselines that I've had from over there. And this is surprisingly a baseline, even though it is clocking in at 20% THC and it's super frosty. <coughs> they are little guys, though. <laughs> I wonder why they get down to the real small popcorns. So they can start giving out the top shelf for lower prices. This stuff tastes great. Looks amazing, tastes amazing. The smell. Woo! It tastes like straight up Windex. Windex, that's what I got for you. Straight cleaning fluid, cleaning supplies in a good way. It's not too harsh. It's really sweet. Sweet, smooth, candy, lime, sugar. <coughs> I want to have to get me another one of these. Packaged on the 11th. This one is grown by SUG. SUG. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm sure it's abbreviation for something. And I can't tell you what that is. <coughs> Leave it in the comments if you know what the hell SUG is. I should know. I know all their gro growers over there. That's going to bother me. Eh. Whatever. Yeah, this thing looked really small. This is about what the gram looked like when I bought it. Minus like a little nug that I took out to break it up. And... I was kind of disappointed because I was like, what is this? That is not a gram. It's like little flakes. But just one of them little guys breaks up real nice. They are so dense and compact, like hard little fluffy rocks. Yesterday I was smoking at work and I was just taking off chunks and putting them into my bowl. And I was hitting, 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 hitting. I wasn't really getting much. 
So I went out to my car, got my grinder, ground it down, packed it real loose in there, like so it can breathe and taste. I took two hits off of that boy, and I. Was, mm. So just so you know, guys, it's always better to grind your marijuana. And I've had people argue that you lose keef. Well, you lose keef, but it goes into your keef chamber in the bottom. But if you want to keep all that keef, you can just pop this screen out. Pop that screen out right there, and your keef will stay in your bud. Oh, and if you guys want to know all this keef on the sides and not stuck in here, and you got keef in these crevices and grooves and all along the bottom here, what you want to do is put a nickel right on top of your screen. I like a nickel because they're big and heavy. And then I'll put my top on. I'll freeze it for about 5 to 10 minutes. You take it out and then you shake it up like a can of spray paint. And those crystals are all going to fall off. You'll get a nice little bowl pack in the bottom here. They don't stick well to metal when they're frozen. the resin at the bottom of that bowl oh man you guys see me I bought this thing like a week ago it's already it's been used 20 to 50 times so you get that uh, sizzle at the bottom once you get down to the, re <laughs> the resin Whew. I feel good y'all off some baseline this stuff impresses me quite a lot and they got some pretty garbage baseline over there right now so I'm filming this on the September of something th I think it's like the 10th or 11th or somewhere in there somewhere in the early mid September's definitely check this one out lemon Vuitton number 36 oh indica dominant that's surprising because I can't shut up right now and I got a little energy I gotta go do some cooking you guys do not want to see my kitchen you will probably never get a tour of this house because it is terrible it is terrible. We got three kids living here. It's me, my wife, three kids. Oh, here. That's the boys' room. He stays back there, and all of his stuff spills out into the hallway. We got the computer area. I filled a couple videos over there. We'll just skip past that kitchen. Storage. This is all of our stuff from storage. We moved here from Arizona, and this was all in Wisconsin in a storage unit, but we got a pods and got it up here. That's where we stacked it. Just clothes everywhere, stuff, maps, whatnot. That's where all the magic happens back there. It goes to my room. That is the tour of the apartment. I don't know where I had this, something like this. Something like that. Yeah, you will never see any bathrooms, kids' rooms. It's terrible. It's This house really is a mess. And sorry if you saw my carpets, but we've been living here for six years. Cats puking, Kool-Aid spilling, all kinds of shit going down. Takis getting stepped on. So yeah, this stuff is very good. Cotton mouth sets in quick. Red eye set in quick. There's no paranoia at all because I got hours till I got to do anything. I do got to feed my little kittens. I'll give you guys the kittens on the next smoke video. But they're sleeping, and when they're asleep, please let them sleep. I will let them sleep until they cry. Then I got to bottle feed them hand burp them, take them to the sink, run them underwater. I gotta massage their little butts till they poop. I'm peeing these little things, so. I am now a foster parent to newborn kittens. It ain't nothing I'm new to. I've had a cat since I, I've never not, not had a cat. Live 35 years on this earth. My mother's always had a cat. When I moved to South Carolina, my dad had a cat. When I moved back, to my mom's house she had a new cat and I moved to my brother's he had multiple cats I moved to my friend Aaron's he didn't have a cat but he was gay and neither of us were ever home so that would have been a good place for a cat I'm not saying gay people do anything to cats but he just wasn't into cats like that yeah and then I, we moved to my brother's new house got more cats moved to Arizona I was living in a room for rent had an old cat, senior cat, I had to take care of. I couldn't really see. Then I got this apartment. We immediately got a cat. Then we got another cat. We got two of them. Now we got four cats. So I've had them in all shapes, sizes, colors, thicknesses, temperaments. I don't know why I'm talking about cats. That's how high this weed's going to get you. It's going to get you talkative, creative, cottonmouth setting in. 
I think I hear the cats. No, I don't. That was the sound of my dishwasher going shink, shink, shink. It sounded like high pitched cat noises from far away. Anyway, y'all, Lemon Baton, number. 36. It's definitely better than the original. The original, I don't remember much about it. You guys can go watch that review. I was in a rush. I also didn't have all this hair up here. Let me know in the comments what I should do with this hair. I'm about to cut this all off. About to do a four. Four it all. And then just like three fade to two on the side. Like little on top. Just shave the rest. Shave this. Yeah. Summer is here. It is 109 degrees today, and for the next seven days, it is not supposed to go under 105. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's not a rain in the forecast. So it is bright, sunny, motherfucking hot. Monsoon season is sticky out there. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking to you guys. I keep saying that. I keep telling you how much this stuff's going to make you talk. Going to make you want to do stuff, and... uh We'll see you on the next one, which actually will probably be later on today. I got a uh, few bucks to me. I did a referral code hustle. Long story short, I should be able to get myself a doobie or a gram from the Cure Leaf today. That's all I got for you. Catch me on the next one.